Okay, we have been waiting um, about an hour, an hour and a half, and uh, we've been letting our dough rise. And it's in this uh, lovely clip box here. The oven is well up to temperature, but we're going to just keep it going um, so that it's uh, ready and waiting when the buns are, are ready to go in. Uh, and uh, this is an opportunity. Um, there are two, two ways of, of approaching this. Um, this can be a dough that uh, you, you yourself uh, shape uh, into buns and then enable the participants to dust, uh, possibly with a little stencil as well. And there's a separate video on stencil making, um, which you might want to have a look at. Um, so we can ask the residents to, uh, or the participants to actually dust the buns and then pop those straight in the oven um, to enjoy with a cup of tea and some jam, butter or whatever a bit later. Uh, but we can also get our dough ready and uh, bring it to the session ready for the participants to actually shape into buns themselves and dip in seeds or other toppings um, which is a, a great, great activity for, for everyone to do um, and it, it causes quite a lot of excitement. So uh, if we present the box of dough to the, to the participants, uh, asking them to, to shape their own buns, um, we can go through that whole process of actually looking at the dough and talking about it and what's been happening in the box or in the bowl, if we put it in a bowl um, with some plastic over the top. Uh, so we can look at, to pass it round, take it round the group and have a look at the holes uh, filled with carbon dioxide um, that are in the dough now that it's been sitting waiting. And the yeast has eaten all the food and has been um, creating gas and uh, that has made the dough really puffy. We can also, if we have a clip box, the beauty of this is that uh, participants can see that the box lid has become quite curved, just slightly, but quite curved, uh, because of the pressure that's building up in the box from the gas. And you can take it round the group and get people to really press down on it. Again, that's exercising their hands and their arm muscles and they can really feel the pressure that's building up in the box. We can also peer into the box and see some bubbles on the top, and that's quite lovely. Now, uh, we can try, and it does depend on the dough and how much gas there is, uh, we can try and just get the group to be really quiet and the, the all around us to be really quiet and see if we can hear the, the pop very slight hiss as we unclip the box. I'm not sure if the microphone's going to pick this up, but we'll give it a go. Okay. I could feel the gas come out, but you probably couldn't pick that up. We'll just take the lid off now. And uh, immediately I can smell the yeast and the dough and it's lovely to uh, take it round the group and get people to give it a little bit of a sniff and it smells really lovely. Uh, we can see the bubbles forming on the dough and uh, you can get people to give it a little bit of a prod and some people will be quite tentative. Um, and others will really push their fingers into the dough and it's interesting to see what approach everybody takes. If there has been a lot of condensation building up in the box, uh, it, there hasn't on this occasion, but uh, the, the lid can get quite wet and again there's an opportunity to take it around the group and get people to feel the wetness inside the box that the carbon dioxide has created. So, uh, we can now think about getting the dough out of the box, and this is a, a quite a fun uh, activity. Um, we can nominate somebody or ask somebody to volunteer and get them to lift the box up. It can be quite heavy, particularly if we've done quite a lot of dough. And I'll just move these plates out of the way. And we're just going to lift it up and bang it onto the table. And as we can see, the dough is not falling down straight away. So this is an opportunity for people to start to bang it. 
and you can pass it around the group and get everybody to have a good old bang. Some will really go for it, some will be very tentative. Again, it's choice, it's, it's, it's how they're comfortable with what they're doing. So we can give it a shake. We can use our dough scraper if it has fallen but somebody hasn't, hasn't had an opportunity to bang on it, we can just sort of pick up the dough underneath with the dough scraper and lift it to the next person, um, trying to make sure everybody's included in the activity. So as we can see, it's just dropping down, we'll give it a shake here and then it's probably the leader's turn to ease it out of the box. Scrape it all out. Don't want any anything left behind if we can help it. And you can see, and this is something to point out, People can see the network of the dough. And again, this is an opportunity for people to start getting their fingers into the dough. So you can take it using the dough scraper, you can take it from person to person, lifting it round the group and getting them to play the piano. And at this point, we might even get a bit of a sing-song going as well. So we're just degassing it, getting all the gas out. And it's then ready for uh, me to cut it up and to start passing it around and to show people how to shape it. If I am just creating buns myself to take to the group ready for dusting and baking, then I'll just go ahead and do that. So I'm now going to divide this up and I'm going to do use half to shape some buns and show you dusting. Um, so we'll just pop that over there and we'll put a nice tea towel just over the top to try and stop it drying out too much um, and forming the skin. So we have this lovely little bit. And uh, for the recipe um, below the video, uh, you should get about eight, eight small buns out of the recipe. Um, so uh, you can either you can increase it, uh, do another half lot or, or however much um, you want to do. And it should be quite easy to follow. So all we're going to do is cut it. And again, um, we don't want to be too precise. It's quite nice to produce different sized buns um, because that will give people choices and get them to make decisions. And very often during the project, um, we found that uh, people are, some people are quite reluctant to um, actually make a decision. Uh, and they'll say, oh, you, you, you choose, you decide. And it takes quite a little bit of time to encourage them and get them um, ready to, to actually make decisions. Um, so this is a, a lovely way to do it though because it's just bread and they're just deciding what size bun and how it looks and what they prefer. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a pretty nice choice to have to be made. Okay, so we're just going to divide this into four. 